Hello you guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. This is an exciting one today though, because I'm going to be answering some of your questions that you guys put down on my Instagram poll, which I posted like a week ago now. I am going to be answering them for you, which I'm actually really excited about. I'm excited for you guys to get to know me a bit better, because at the moment you kind of know me through like my Mikey Mike Dups, and that's about it. <laughs> the Mikey Mike Dups. Love doing them for you guys. Anyways, let's just get straight into it, shall we? Let's get started. So, question one. When did you start your fitness journey? Yes, always. These questions are very fitness related, of course, because I influence a lot of fitness and gym content. Um, so, when did I start my fitness journey? I started my fitness journey when I was 17 years old, which was my last year of high school. I know I was a little child, wasn't I? Um, and I am currently 21, so I've been training for nearly five years. So I'm turning 22 this year. So, yeah, that's a lot of time to commit yourself to Jim. Good old Jim. He stole my soul. <sighs> but yeah, it's been so good. Like, I fell in love with it instantly. Like, as soon as I started. That's why I've been signed up for five years. <laughs> yeah. I started in, like, a, um, like a small little neighbourhood gym, which is perfect it's a perfect place to start your fitness journey so for any of you guys that are like new or like too scared to go to the gym just find like a small little gym that's never really busy or just very like family oriented or like very like mums and dads kind of go there kind of vibes it's a perfect way to start that's how I started I started in a little gym like that and then that's when my confidence like started to grow because as you go to the gym, the longer you go, the more confident you get because obviously you start to know what to do and like get a little routine for yourself. So yeah, that's my tip for you. Question two, what made you start at the gym? Now, I actually start, I would say that I started up at the gym because I wanted a bit of size to me. Like I felt like there was nothing of me. Like back when I was like 17, I was very like delicate and just very thin didn't have a lot of shape and I just didn't like that personally like I just wanted to feel a little bit boofy I wanted to have some meat on my bones I wanted to have some shape so I started up at the gym started weightlifting and I started to gain size and I fell in love I loved it and it became very addicting so yeah that would be what I would say made me actually want to start at the gym it was just to build some size and become more solid I reckon How's your diet with food? Do you count macros slash cows? No, I don't count anything. I've never ever like counted anything, not even like when I started at the gym or anything like that. Just because my fitness journey has done so well without doing that. So I would say that my diet with food is just, we just, we go, we love each other. So I pretty much just eat whatever like I want. When I say whatever I want, I don't mean I'm stuck my face with every junk food on the planet. No. I still eat very clean, but there's no limit. If I feel like my body's craving something, I will just happily go eat it. You know what I mean? No guilt is involved. I feel like it's a healthy relationship with food when you've got balance like that. What's your current workout split? Haha. -ha. So my current workout split would be Mondays are glutes and hammies. Tuesdays is back and buys, Wednesdays is quaddies and calves, Thursdays is shoulders and tries, maybe chest, we might add that soon, um, and Friday is glutes and hammies again, so glutes twice a week, and then quads, which makes legs three times a week, quick maths, <laughs> what's your fave day to train, look, I'm gonna just be that basic bitch here, and say glutes. Obviously glutes is my favorite day to train, but I do love a shoulder day. I love push days. Just shoulders, not chest. Triceps are really humbling, just shoulders. I love doing shoulders. I just find it really empowering. I don't know, it's super fun. Let's see, what's another saucy question? Another saucy question. Ay, ay. Oh, this is a really popular one. How tall am I? Now, how tall am I? <laughs> Let me tell you, when social media makes me look taller, oh, it makes me look taller than what I am. I am not as tall as what you think. 
I even notice like in my photos and stuff and in, even in my videos it's like the angle that I get makes me look about six foot which is not the case I am actually 156 centimeters tall which is I think just under 5'2 which is quite tiny <laughs> like if you were to see me in real life you'd be like oh hello hello there how's the weather down there no that was dry shut up pull your head in but yeah I'm I'm not tall guys <laughs> I'm not tall. Absolute least favorite piece of gym equipment on the planet. That's actually a really tough one. I don't even know. Um, I feel like I love everything. You know what I do? Like I kind of despise the bands. You know, like the bands where you do like the crab walks and stuff. Like I personally hate doing that. I don't know if that counts for like equipment or whatever, but I just feel like they're so pointless. Like it's good to just warm your joints up, but like they do nothing. They do nothing for building muscle is what I'm trying to say. What sizes do you get in the Define shorts and bras? I wear an extra small in absolutely everything. No doubt everything. I actually do recommend, if you want like a snugger fit for Define, I do recommend sizing down. Just because their material is quite stretchy, which is so buttery. It's so buttery and smooth and soft. But I would size down if you want like more of a compression to the booty. Someone's asked, how many grams of creatine do you take per day? Now, I don't actually take anything like that. I don't take creatine. I don't take any sort of supplements like that. I The only thing I take is pre-workout and protein. That's it. That's all I take. I'm actually, like, don't come at me, but, like, I'm actually a little bit scared to take creatine personally just because my body, like, I've never had it and I don't know how my body will react to that kind of thing. But, yeah. Maybe one day, but not at the moment. I don't take that kind of stuff. Do you ever do cardio to keep your lean figure? No, I don't do cardio. I've literally, I, don't, I can't remember the last time I've done cardio. I think it was like two years ago. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna get absolutely abused for that. You guys are gonna roast me in the comments. I, yeah, I literally rarely ever do cardio. I'm let alone puffing after like a set of squats, which is really bad. I'm only like a weightlifter, just weights. <laughs> um, I would say that my figure has actually leaned up so much from lifting weights and lifting heavy. Like I feel like my body's just, because <laughs> before I started the gym, I had like a lot of baby fat. Like I was de very like petite, but I just always held that little bit of like baby fat. But now it's just like lean as a bean. Are you in a relationship? Yes. I am indeed in a relationship. We are actually high school sweethearts. I know, so cute. <laughs> um, we have been together for nearly five years now. When we go to Europe, actually, that'll mark our five years, which is in August, which is a bit, a bit romantic, isn't it? We didn't even plan that to be like our anniversary thing. Like, cause he's going over there for like a trip of footy and everything like that. And we just, he was like, let's make a holiday out of it. And I was like, sure, like let's, let's fucking do it. And then like, we are just going to meet each other there. And then it happens to land on our like five years. Cause I was like, wait a minute. Like after we booked it all, I was like, we're going to be in Santorini for our five years. Like what? <laughs> what? It's like we're on our honeymoon. <laughs> How to, this is a good one actually. How do you overcome fears of being judged at the gym? Girlies, you guys are going to the gym to work on yourselves. You're not worrying about anyone around you. I used to be scared of being judged and stuff at the gym, but as my confidence grew, my fucks became zero. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it does take some time. Like, don't get me wrong. It will take some time to get, like, comfortable in your own, like, little environment and stuff like that. And when you get into routine and stuff, like, at the gym, when I go to the gym, I'm walking around with my tripod it's kind of like the walk of shame actually when I'm walking around with my tripod, my gym bag, I've got shit going everywhere but I just feel like nobody really cares anyways like you're there for yourself and so are all these other people they're, they're there for themselves as well so just do your thing do your thing don't care about anybody else around you at all have you ever had a normal job? yes of course I have um, I only started doing social media probably about maybe like a year and a half to two years ago now maybe could be yeah year and a half to two years it's in between one and a half to two years but I used to be a full-time barista like 40 plus hours like I used to just work my little ass off making coffees for people <laughs> of course um so hospitality was definitely like 
my main job and I didn't mind it like I loved making coffees for people because obviously making coffees makes people's day if they have a good coffee makes my day anyways it makes me feel nice when like I make other people's days better by making them a good coffee you know what I mean but anyways so it started at like 40 plus hours and then like I needed to lower the hours like it was just getting too much especially like when my socials started to like grow a little bit and obviously more things came up and I was like okay like I need to drop my um, shifts at like the cafe so I dropped them to about probably 20 hours and then like I've dropped them again so I just decided I was like okay I need to just stick to maybe one to two days a week and then that was just too much like that that ended up being too much to juggle and then I just actually quit last week so I do Instagram and everything like that full-time now so I feel very blessed to be here doing this giving you guys some content it honestly makes me feel so happy oh someone's like how often do you drink I actually don't drink that much at all now it's honestly probably like once every two months like I'll go out because it'll just be for like a special occasion like a birthday or like a celebration or something where I'll go out um but yeah and I never really drink like too too much anyways when I do go out just because I find it really affects like my gym that following week <laughs> it'll affect me and how I work out and I hate it I feel like I'll just be set back a whole week just because I feel so run down and I just hate it like it's my pet hate so I just choose not to drink a lot for that reason someone said how long do you spend at the gym each sesh to be honest I spend a good if I'm not filming it'll probably be for like a leg sesh a solid like hour and a half but if I'm filming it'll probably be like over two hours <laughs> can say I live at the gym and then for like upper body sessions it'll probably be like about an hour each I reckon so it's quite like, it's a solid amount of time. But yeah, it depends if I'm filming because filming takes up so much goddamn time. Oh my God, people keep asking ab routine. Guys, I don't train abs. I need to really get my point across. I don't train abs at all. I've never trained abs, ever. Obviously, genetics plays a big part in this role. with the abs because they're cooked in the kitchen a little bit. But I have found that weight training has just evidently brung my abs out. I can't even explain it. It's just happened. Like over time, as I've kept lifting, lifting heavier and everything like that, I've just leaned out so much that my abs are just very predominant. Abs are used with everything too. You engage your abs in every single exercise. So someone's like, where are you from? I'm going to get you to guess. How you going, mate? Just kidding. Obviously, I'm from Australia. People actually get Australian accents and British accents mixed up. And I genuinely don't understand how that happens because I think British people and Australian people sound so different. Like, we sound so bogan and just so like, I actually hate the Australian accent so much. Like, I hate it. <laughs> if I could have any accent, I think I would want to be British. They just sound so like, delicate. Wish I didn't sound so feral. God. A big question that I get as well is, how do you keep your stomach so flat but also have such a big bum? And I'm going to say genetics is a big part of that too. I'm always going to include genetics because it's true. It's facts. Genetics plays a massive role. But also the amount of hard work you put in is that other half as well. So when I was younger, I was obviously very small framed, very narrow, very delicate, very like fragile. Um, but my bum was always like the biggest part of me. From being like such a small little person i'll see if i can find like a little photo to just put in here of what my booty used to look like um but yeah it always used to be like the biggest part of my body i always used to have like a flat little tummy um but then when i started the gym I built on the booty and obviously the booty grew stomach has stayed the same top three favorite booty exercises that's a good one so i'm gonna go b stands rdls they're my ride or die love them <laughs> Hip thrust, cast hip thrust, absolutely need them. And Bulgarians, they would be my three top booty movements, I reckon. The three really deadly exercises, but the glutes will just be juicy. They'll just be plumping. They'll be looking like they've been stung by a bee, guys. Oh, nothing beats icy cold water in the Frank Green. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this little Q&A here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next vloggy. Bye, guys.